able to tell that I went shopping again. <laughs> okay, so um, I have one of the um, vertical layout recollections planners, but I got my hands on the um, horizontal layout of this recollections planner and I just couldn't leave it on the shelf. I mean, you guys, come on, how cute is this? This purple cover really spoke to me. I am a purple person. I love purple. Um, so this just really spoke to me. So I wanted to go ahead and do a flip through. Um, I'm not going to do a comparison between the two layouts unless you guys request it. So if that's something you want to see, go ahead and leave that in the comments below and I can make it happen, but it is just not in my plans at the moment. Um, so with that, with that, let's go ahead and get started. So it is a 12 month spiral bound planner. Um, this cover has this really, really pretty, um, gold coil. And again, these are really, really well made coils. Um, I had the opportunity to check out an Erin Condren coil and they are very, very similar. So this coil is just about as awesome. So yeah, highly recommend it. Um, it just has this really like simple cover and it says 2017 there at the top. As we get into it, it's pretty similar to an Erin Condren. So they actually, you could use a whiteboard marker and you could totally like do whatever you're going to do over here. Um, you could leave yourself notes, all of that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that is a really cool feature. Um, it has just a nice title page here. It's really simple. It says this life belongs to with just sort of your primary colors here. Um, I am a happy planner person first. <laughs> I mean, I've used the happy planners first. So um, graphically to me, this is not quite as appealing as what the happy planner has to offer. Um, but I think it does the job for the $29.99 price point that Michaels offers this planner at. So there is that. And this is on like nice thick cardstock. Um, and we have a section for your 2017, 2018 years at a glance. Um, and I will just kind of zoom you guys in here so you can take a look a little bit closer. Um, so you can see the scripting here. You can see that it is a nice neutral layout in all of the months um, as we go through. And yeah, it's just really pretty. Okay, so this is really similar to the vertical layout, although the color scheme is a little bit different. You have your important contacts over here on this side. Um, so you can put name, address, phone, email, and birthday of up to, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up to 16 people on this side. Me personally, I probably wouldn't put that information in a planner because heaven forbid if it got lost and all of my most important contacts would be out there floating around in the world and that just freaks me out. Um, then over here on this side, you have important dates and there are so many cool uses for a page like this. I've always kind of wished that the happy planner would include a page of important dates or something like that where it just has lines under the months uh, because I could come up with a bajillion <laughs> uses for this page. So this is pretty cool. Then getting into the planner, each month has a notes sheet in the very front instead of a dashboard like the Happy Planner has. If you're a super functional planner, this is something that's going to work really well for you. Um, then you have your January divider here. It says the best time for new beginnings is now. Then we get into the January monthly layout and the lighting is kind of weird in here, but it is, um, it does not look like it's a super ombre like the other one. Um, my unicorn planner had a much brighter color in the top and the ombre was really easy to see. Um, but it does look like it kind of goes from light to dark. Um, this is a really pretty layout. I really like it. I think Michaels did a really great job with that. Um, then over here on the side, you have a note section and a little sticky here at the bottom. You have some dates already included in here for you, some um, holidays and that sort of thing. And then this is what your horizontal layout will look like. Um, so I'll zoom you guys in on one of the days so you can just kind of see how many lines, sort of what the structure is, that kind of thing. Um, so you do have a lot of space there to write. You have some stickies on the side um, and it does go all the way down to the bottom of the page, which is super cool. Then for the rest of your week, you have more stickies, you have your nice big horizontal um, spaces to write, and then you have notes and thoughts there in the bottom, and then you have your weekly goals, which I really like, a section to have weekly goals. I think that's great. All right, so now we're gonna go through the rest of the planner, and like in many of my other um, planner videos, you know I'm gonna do a speedy, speedy flip through. We'll come back and chat at the end about the rest of the planner, and um, take a look at the back and all that kind of thing. So here we go.
Okay, so um, that was the flip through. So now I have just a couple more things that I wanna talk with you guys about um, and kind of guide you through as far as this planner goes. Um, so this was my first time flipping through this planner as well. And I feel like the um, patterns and colors in this planner are so much prettier than they are in um, the current planner that I have. However, I don't know that they really fit with the cover that comes on it. So remember, it is that beautiful purple marble. I feel like that's like a sort of a serious cover, right? Like almost businessy. Um, and the colors in here are just kind of fun and youthful and that kind of thing, which is awesome. But I really wish um, that the recollections had done sort of like a bit more matching, if you know what I mean, as far as like the cover to the inside of the planner. I know that all of the horizontal layouts are the same and all of the vertical layouts are the same, except there is one layout that's like a black and white only layout in a couple of the planners um but the brights layouts are pretty much the same so um and then again you know there is like the pregnancy tracker there's the fitness tracker the goals planner and then I think the recipe keeper as well so those are all different inside too but these are pretty much your standard layouts um so I don't know like I don't know again maybe that's like my brain on Mambi thinking um, but I like the idea of the cover matching to the inside of the planner as well um, so here at the end you have some notes sheets and we have a couple of just lined notes sheets then um, we have a couple of pages of graph paper and then oh and they have like a cute little design down here can you guys see that I don't know if you can see it but there there it is isn't that cute a little design down there you can do some coloring or doodling or whatever um, and then, uh, oh, this design is super cute on these just regular white pages. Um, just some like brain dump pages, I guess, um, of white paper. Aren't those cute? Yeah, those are super cute. Oh, and different colors, the polka dots on them. I really like that. That's awesome. Okay, and then as we get into the back, now you have um, a few pages of stickers. And these stickers are different than the stickers that were included in the vertical as well. So if you'll notice, you have a full line of stickers that have nothing written on them. So you can use these tabs for whatever you want. Um, these say vacation, day off, game day, uh, hair appointment, dentist appointment, doctor's appointment, um, just regular appointment labels, party time, um, and then some happy birthday stickers over here. We can always use lots of happy birthday stickers, so that's great. Then um, you just have some a page of like functional stickers here. So you have some checklists, some to-do lists, um, some note boxes, um, just some page flags, um, all of these kind of labels and those kind of things. So those are awesome to have. And then again, another page of like functional stickers. So you've got like a vacation banner. I said this before in the other one, but I wish this was a weekend banner instead of vacation. Um, you have some noted, some big day goal met, um, some inspirational banners over here, some little, those are kind of teardrop-esque stickers like that. And then you have a whole page of um, sort of like functional little stickers, I guess. So you've got like a whole bunch of these emojis. Um, you have some dentist and doctor's appointments in the middle, dog stuff, sunglasses, hearts, um, scissors, drink glasses, a car, a house, like seriously everything. Um, these look like meal stickers, no school stickers, just everything in here. Super, super cute. Some shopping carts. Love. I really like these stickers. Um, then in the back, you have this cute little folder. I love this. Isn't that cute? Um, so it's a good size pocket and it is just as sturdy um, as, I don't know, as any of the Mambi folders that I've ever held. So these are, this is a really nice quality folder that's included in your planner. And then you get um, a little like clear zipper pocket as well, which I really, really like. Um, Side note, for those of you who are Mambi people who like the ARC system, um, I was just informed by a viewer that you can get uh, these clear um, plastic, I don't know, you can get these clear plastic pouches at Staples for the ARC system that will fit in a happy planner. So if you are someone who really likes these but wants to continue using a happy planner, um, you can do that too. So. I mean, it's included in your recollections planner at no cost, but if you really want one for your happy planner that's already arc punched, that's where you can get it. Okay, and then you have the back page. Again, it has a little um, like whiteboard space for you to use, which I think is super awesome. Erin Condren uses that as well, so that was a great idea for recollections to include in theirs as well. And then the back cover, which is a really pretty like green marble, which is awesome. Um, 
the one thing about these covers is you couldn't like since they do have the extra writing space in here it's not I wouldn't take it off and like switch them around and use this as the front or the back cover um but they are removable so that is really cool you can take them off um and I've watched a couple of videos and it looks like most of the Erin Condren um covers will fit on these however there is like one notch left <laughs> at the very end of the Erin Condren cover so if you're not someone who that bothers a whole bunch, um, you can put an Erin Condren cover on here. Or um, my guess is that Michael's Recollections is going to be coming out with um, some additional covers for these. So just stay tuned for that. Um, and there's your little what's included tab. And that is everything. Um, so same with the front cover, though. It is removable. You can take it all off, all that. Um, so yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. Um, I have lots of, lots of other planner videos, lots of planner flip throughs. Um, I'm going to include them all in a playlist. So make sure that you search for that playlist and, or I will leave that in a link below. Um, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for stopping by Beans and Monkeys. I absolutely love having you guys here. Um, and the amount of you that are new to my channel and who keep coming in, I am just so, so thrilled to have you here. And I'm so humbled that you want to join my fun little community. Um, so with that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you subscribe, you'll get notifications. It's totally free. Um, and you get to stay with us. And then, um, if you like this video, it just, it really helps me and it tells me sort of what you guys want to see from me more. Um, and with that, you guys, by the way, have fun today.